Uh, but mainly I wanted to explain the, the concept of peer review, um, uh, what the peer grading, where it goes to, what the instructions are for the peer review, and, um, and uh, kind of reflect all the new information. Because there were different things that we are doing when we started doing peer review, and um, some of those have changed. So I want to make sure the recording reflects current effect. So let me go to the uh, next page, which is um, the actual, you know. Uh, so this is the your first uh, peer graded assignment item. Um, your co first conceptual questions. It also says peer graded. So in this video, I want you to explain a little bit uh, what peer grading involves and uh, what you can expect. So so this is conceptual questions assignment due tonight. So four of you have submitted. Thank you. Hopefully the uh, remaining students <laughs> submit it soon. Um, and if you are late, you know, you can still make a late submission. So do that. Um, so this assignment has its own instructions. It's a peer grade assignment and so on. And uh, one of the reasons that it keeps saying peer graded, peer graded and so on is so that you have a proper expectation. You know, uh, we are careful with your educational records. Um, you are, we are careful with what you submit. And I want to make sure that, that you know as you are submitting to this assignment, what's going to happen with that submission. So I will, of course, get to see it as your instructor. And three of your peers will also see it. Uh, so let me go into the assignment settings option so that you can see how it's set up. So let me edit it. I'm not going to change anything, just showing you the settings. So in the assignment settings, you are going to see that it's due tonight. Yeah, that's when it's due for everyone. And in addition to that, there's a one additional activity that will take place. It has a required peer reviews uh, to the extent that any assignment can be required. Uh, it is required. And the system will automatically assign peer reviews three per user. That means uh, for everyone who, submit, who made a submission, you will see three of your classmates submissions. And for every your submission that you submitted, it's going to get assigned to three other people. So that's what reviews per user setting is. And these reviews, they will get assigned not quite at midnight, but at 8, eight at, um, at 8, sorry, I can't say this, at 8 o'clock a.m. tomorrow. Um, so there's a bit of a, what I might call grace period. Um, and it's uh, sort of, you know, if you are working on an assignment, it's a uh, 12.05 and you submit it. Canvas will mark that as late, um, uh, which by the way doesn't mean anything in this class. Um, and if uh, peer reviews got assigned right at midnight, then uh, for those submissions at 12.05, that won't be part of the group that gets uh, in the peer review. So, uh, so I gave it some thought after the first semester of running in and, um, and you know, there wasn't really a big difference between something that got submitted at 3 a.m. versus something that got submitted at 8 p.m. And in terms of the amount of time you have for peer review, you know, the amount of time between midnight and 8 a at the 8 o'clock a.m. <laughs> the day after, I don't think uh, that losing out the time is losing that much. So the setting is set up so that the peer rev reviews get assigned at 8 o'clock in the morning. So any submission that's made before this, that's part of the set of assignments that gets distributed in the peer review. So that's what I would call grace period. And we used to do peer reviews anonymously. And part of that was um, my fear that there might be issues if... Um, uh, the peer reviews were not anonymous. Um, but with anonymous submissions, there were certain um, dynamics of that interaction that I didn't quite like. So I tried uh, making peer reviews not anonymous, I think about a year ago. And, you know, it actually worked fine. I didn't see any conflicts in class. So I th think my fears were unjustified. And I think there's a positive aspect of peer reviews being not anonymous. So it's not anonymous. So your peers who get your assignment will see your name. They will know that it's your submission that they are peer grading. And um, and when you leave comments, when you fill out the rubric, the person you are grading, they will see um, who it was that either said something mean or said something helpful. So so um, so it's not anonymous. I think it's worked well in the past, so I'm going to keep it that way. 
So that's the setting for this uh, assignment, how that's uh, set up. How do I go back? Um, <clears throat> so, um, so, so yeah, after midnight at 8, at 8 a.m. tomorrow, um, it'll get assigned in peer reviews. And in terms of the instructions for peer review, so the whole peer review process is somewhat involved. So. Uh, let me show this. So I'm going to go into test student view and just uh, make a quick uh, submission. Did I already make a submission? Oh, I already made a submission. What kind of submission did I make? Uh, let me check. Oh, that's terrible. You know, let me just leave it that way. Now, I can I can resubmit. I can answer some of this stuff. Um, but let me just leave that there, you know, like clear the module requirements. So, um, and I will show you the test student submission and kind of go from there. So um, you can see in this screen, there's this assigned peer reviews. Right now it's non-assigned. And I think for test student, it will remain at non-assigned because in the past, test student didn't participate in peer review. Um, but for you, uh, after eight o'clock tomorrow morning, you will see uh, peer reviews here. Depending on your window size, this might appear over here on the side bar, or it might be at the bottom of the screen if your window is narrow, like on a phone. So, um, so that's some of the things you see. Now, in order to help you with your peer review process, uh, one of the things I have uh, that's set up in the course is the peer review grade item. Um, so it's down here. It's, you know, with a linear progression requirement, it's something you can access only at the very end of the week after you're done with the problem set, assessment, the survey that I started doing. And finally here, I'm going to be very careful with how far I scroll down because um, yeah, there are model answers. If I scroll down too far, um, <laughs> you will see the model answers. So I'm not gonna do that. Um, so here is where there are some set of instructions for peer review. And the main piece of instruction is that uh, review the submissions using provided rubric. I'm gonna show you some of that. Mark the rubric based on completeness and evidence of effort. And you really have to save the rubric for your peer review to be considered complete. Um, otherwise, it's kind of um, difficult for me to <laughs> check for that. So please do that. And so, so there are these instructions. Um, it's kind of skeletal, um, some instructions. It's hard for me to give you detailed instructions because as I was saying, test to student doesn't get peer reviews. And me as instructor, I don't see peer review screens. So what I what we will what we will have is a discussion post where I would will be inviting you to uh, share with your classmates how you access the peer review. So um, so this is currently unpublished. I'm gonna publish it Saturday uh, morning and ask people to post it here. How did you? Um, yeah, uh, I probably should take that out. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, how, how did you do the peer review? Share screenshots if you feel comfortable, because that's the only way I can get the info. Uh, Canvas has changed some of the ways how peer reviews can be accessed. I do think it's a positive change. Uh, let's see how you are accessing peer reviews this semester. So, um, so, so yeah, so as you do peer review, um, I think the screen that you see will kind of look similar to my speed grader view. So let me do that. I'm going to go to speed grader and um, let me go to test student view or, you know, test student submission and I'll talk about the rubric a little bit. So let me just uh, go to the test student thing on my side screen here so I don't accidentally show anyone else's. Okay, this is the test student. I like to joke uh, test to student is my worst student because never does any work. Um, so now for submission like this, that's obviously zero, zero, zero. <laughs> so it might not be the best example here. So let me just talk out loud uh, what a, or, um, yeah, let me just talk out loud what a submission would be that, um, that got something like, you know, two out of uh, two. So the rubric description is that um, two is this. The response is clearly marked as a response, uh, hopefully with the label, number of labels and whatnot, and demonstrates a good faith effort at answering the question. So for example, uh, 
there's a first question here, you know, the exact value of that, why is that? Now, um, this is a question that most people actually answer wrong, I think. The, the, there's an exact answer that I'm looking for, which is in the model answer, <laughs> but most people don't answer quite right. Now, you can get kind of two kinds of responses here. So imagine you got a response that looks like this. Basically, we are someone who's done that. Oh, wait, maybe not. Um, oh, wow, that is weird. Uh, maybe that's too much. Uh, so, like uh, someone who, you know, you can kind of read the answer and uh, kind of see, oh, someone has done that. So, like where it looks like um, someone did this. Copy. And, um, well, let me paste this into, uh, where do I paste it into? Let me paste this into my OneNote. I'll it, 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 erase it later. You know, someone submitted something like this as their answer for the, as their answer for that uh, conceptual questions. Now, if you see that, what I would say a response like they should get, it's a competition, you know, depending on how much work you think the person did, uh, I might be okay with uh, zero out of two. Um, although it's not quite fitting with the rubric description, you know, no response can be matched up. Zero is really meant to be for no response. Now, when you look at the description for one, it says not clearly marked and or good faith effort and answering the question is not evident. And uh, most common way I imagine someone might earn this score is doing this. Cheating, basically. Now, when you're working on homework, you're not exactly banned from using outside resources. So if you're using outside resources, studying, researching, I'm not saying that is academic dishonesty. What I'm saying is academic dishonesty and deserves one out of two here is uh, someone who um, obviously didn't put in good faith effort something that's a verbatim copy with a proper citation, that one is academic dishonesty, and two, um, by virtue of being academic dishonesty, it doesn't show good faith effort. So, um, so all the other responses where, you know, someone did their due diligence, tried to read up, you know, things in the textbook, maybe Wikipedia, and did their good faith effort answer, and um, maybe it's not a good answer. Even those, I think, should get two out of two because, again, the rubric is only about completion and effort. So if you see completion, they try to answer the question, and you see good faith effort, meaning they weren't cheating, then two out of two. And you got these rubrics for three questions. That's because um, of all the questions you see, uh, you are only required to answer three. So... Um, if someone uh, answered all five, then what I would do, ask you to try to do is try to grade their best to three, you know, the three questions where they can two out of two. So that's um, <clears throat> what I would ask. Now, as you do peer grading, uh, I guess one thing, so you need to save your rubric. And please note that when you save, that's like save for forever. If after saving, if you want to change your things, you will find that you can't. Now, if you do that accidentally, let me know. There's something I can do to make the rubric editable again. So uh, just reach out to me. I can make it editable. Um, so, um, so that's one. You need to save it. Um, and the uh, what was I saying? Oh, uh, and the. Uh, so sometimes, you know, the people are on the borderline and you might worry about uh, is what is right. Uh, uh, and uh, what I would say is that the scores themselves don't really matter that much because the real grades are assigned by me, your instructor. I mean, that's really the way it's, it has to work because the educational records kept by the institu institution, that's uh, the record coming from me. So I'm the one assigning the real grades. I do look at the peer grading and I do kind of see um, if there are any responses that deserve more attention based on what I see in peer grading. But um, it all filters through me. So don't worry too much about being wrong. Uh, the only thing I would ask is be kind. <laughs> they are your classmates and you see each other's names. So please be kind. And to uh, try to leave some helpful comment. Now you can leave it while you are 
uh, filling out the rubric. So while you are filling out the rubric, um, you can leave comments here. Uh, that might be a way to associate it more tightly with the score you are assigning. Or you can leave comment here. So um, I, I do think that's really the uh, most uh, useful part of peer, peer review, that uh, you are uh, reviewing other people's work and kind of trying to say something helpful. I think that's useful for you. It's uh, like a training for future job. And the helpful comments that you leave will be helpful for your classmates also. So I think that's uh, everything on peer review. Let me check uh, if I missed anything. Um, wait, I think I need to go to this page. Um, so yeah, that completion of effort, that animals. Yeah, I think that kind of covers everything. Um, in any case, I've already gone longer than I meant to. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's the peer review. And again, um, tomorrow morning, peer reviews get assigned. I'll post that extra credit discussion and uh, you'll be able to see uh, kind of instructions from your classmates. Um,